The original Mario RPG was released back in 1996 on the Super Nintendo. To this day, it's still my favorite game out of the entire Super Mario franchise. 1996, specifically, was a huge leap in gaming, because not only did Mario RPG hit stores, but the N64 was also released that same year. I still think the controller has the worst layout ever. As a kid, I replayed the crap out of Mario RPG over and over. The sense of adventure, gathering a party to fight the bad guys, and coupled with turn-based action was everything I could hope for. In 2023, Nintendo decided to release the remake, so let's check it out. An important note about the original Mario RPG is that the game was not developed by Nintendo, but rather Square, a popular game studio in the 90s. They're famous for hits like Final Fantasy VII and Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, by the way, definitely deserves a remake. Mario faces a new enemy called the Smithy Gang. They threaten the Mushroom Kingdom and even kick Bowser out of his castle. Like any Mario game, Mario RPG is linear, always driving players forward. You will have to use your wits and skills to unlock new paths to the different regions. Players will meet memorable characters, solve puzzles, and uncover an engaging narrative that only Square can deliver. My favorite character is Booster. He's eccentric silly, and takes center stage for part of the story. The writers in the 90s had a knack for creating new characters that are likable and relatable. This is the first time you meet Booster, as he's spying in on Mario and Bowser's conversation. He owns a tower of amusement where him and his goons prepare his wedding with Peach. Spoiler alert, it doesn't turn out too well for him. Booster also has one of the best entrances in all of gaming, hands down. The soundtrack in this game also slaps, with hits like Booster's Tower and Forest Maze. The equipment system is simple and easy to navigate. You have a weapon, armor, and one accessory. That's it. That's all you need. There's no random battles in this game. To engage with enemies, you simply have to touch them. As I mentioned earlier, the combat system is traditional, turn-based. Mario and his friends each have their own unique skills to add to the fight against the Smithy Gang. The remake also added some modern flair to the combat. You can create a chain combo by timing both offensive and defensive skills. You can chain almost everything. What's more, there's a new gauge ability. You can perform a devastating attack or super buff depending on your party members. Nintendo outdid themselves with the remake. They took an existing property and elevated it to the next level by expanding on the combat system to create something fresh. The arrangement for the soundtrack is better than ever and hits you right in the feels that I'm sure many new fans will enjoy. This game is special, and if you haven't played it yet, I encourage you to do so. In a way, it will change your perspective on what modern games should be. It's all inclusive, no microtransactions, no loot boxes, no BS. Just good, wholesome fun.